It's no surprise Elon Musk is talking about building a boring company, and although he alludes to solving problems with the gridlock traffic, I suspect he has ulterior motives. You see, the advancement of self-driving cars should help with the gridlock on our roads. As the tech becomes more reliable, the traffic will pack closer. Simply put, an automated car has much quicker reaction times than a human and is paying attention to more things around them. Surely the gripe about long commutes is more about the unproductivity of sitting in traffic and going nowhere. And if something else is driving your car, you may have more time to follow up important emails or even start your workday on the commute to work. So if this is what the future looks like, then why is Elon Musk talking about starting a boring company? Well, it's an industry that would benefit from technology advancements, and a small cost saving of a few percent could reduce the cost of building tunnels by millions. Could Elon Musk take on the might of the German tunnel boring companies and in the process help him to develop a new toy to play with? It's become obvious that everything Elon Musk touches turns to gold, and I'm sure the boring company, like all other ideas, helps Elon's dream of settling people on Mars. Yes, there is a common theme here. In case you haven't been paying attention, here's how Elon Musk's ideas and companies could be used to further a settlement on Mars. Solar cities. Given Mars's greatest known energy source is the sun, improving solar technology would help expand Earth's population to Mars. And with the recent release of the solar tile, you can imagine a Mars base being covered in the things. Tesla. Again, with an abundance of solar to make electricity, electric cars or vehicles would be the norm on Mars, and further advancements in the autopilot system could help these vehicles get around by themselves. SpaceX. Obviously you need a rocket to get to Mars, so Elon set up SpaceX to advance space exploration, and has already announced plans for a Mars settlement. The launch of the Dragon capsule later this year would not only allow for SpaceX to ferry astronauts to the space station, but would also be the testing ground for a much larger Mars transporter. Hyperloop. This much talked about fifth mode of transport from a few years ago is becoming a reality, and would be really useful on the Red Planet as a means for people to get around. And given you'll travel in a sealed vacuum tube, it wouldn't be hard for the occupants to be shielded from Mars's harmful radiation. And now for the boring company. You see, much of the talk of human settlement on Mars is focused on protecting us from harmful radiation, and often the idea of underground accommodation has been tossed around. And although most ideas revolve around covering a habitat with Mars soil, what if we simply dig a tunnel system underground? This would not only provide useful accommodation space and a means to connect with different settlements, but it could be a useful way to mine elements and minerals which would be used to kickstart the next industrial revolution albeit on Mars. And those tunnel boring machines happen to be shaped as a cylinder, which would fit nicely in a rocket skin, wouldn't you say? The current payload diameter of Falcon Heavy is around 3.6 metres, which would be large enough to carry a small tunnel boring machine. This borer could start digging and mining a series of tunnels, just large enough to safely protect the newly arrived visitors to Mars. So just maybe Elon Musk's boring company wouldn't be that boring at all. But first Elon will need to prove that he can make one better and cheaper as Elon Musk isn't a big fan of reinventing the wheel, but would rather be known for disrupting it. In fact, Elon Musk was recently quoted as aiming for a 500 to 1000% tunnelling speed improvement. And Elon Musk recently suggested preparations have begun, and he'll start digging his test tunnel soon. Is he trolling us, or giving us a better insight on his plans for Mars?